All right, so I totally forgot to share a card from the Digital Detox deck. So before we get into writing our 55 uh, lofty questions, why, how, do I, to the universe, let me get you guys your detox card, okay? Digital detox. Experiment with your look. Try something new with your hair. Okay. So some of you all, I think somebody came on earlier said they did something different. So this could be confirmation that that's good, shaking up the energy a little bit. Okay. Transformation. It's like a mark saying, okay, I'm going into a new whole phase of my life, new whole way. Okay. Experiment with your look. Ooh. Set internet free hours and spaces. So one way to minimize that excess internet digital detox is give yourself some type of schedule. Get a regular alarm clock so you don't have to use a digital device to do it, but give yourself like a schedule like, okay, it says set internet free hours and spaces between 6 and 8 p.m. Monday through Friday or this day and that day. No internet. Okay? That's for somebody. I think we can all use a little bit of that, right? Okay, I'm at two hours. None. I'm not going to look at an email. I'm not going to look at a text. I'm not going to look at TikTok. I'm not going to look at YouTube. Okay, it says here, screen-free activities, try a new hobby, or get lost in an old one. So this could be painting, gardening, writing, singing, rapping, dancing, right? Screen-free. Skating. Okay, and maybe allotting some time for that every day, okay? For 30 minutes a day or, or an hour a day, I'm gonna invest in singing, dancing, skating, dancing, writing, painting, right? No phone around, we're not gonna have a phone right here, bitch, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? This is popping, so what is it? Have a power nap. Research shows that a quick break can stop our brains from being overwhelmed. Okay, taking a little nappy nap, okay? Ban technology from the bathroom. Ooh, I think I want to use this one. Ban technology from the bathroom. Enjoy a soak in the bath without your phones nearby. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get one more. One more team, and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay. So I have. Why not try and learn a few words and phrases from another language? Okay, cool. So taking up languages. So I have ciao, bonjour, hola. Okay. Hmm. That could shake it up a little bit. I mean, you may have to be on technology to do it, bitch. But <laughs> ciao, bonjour, hola. Shaking up the energy. Okay. Plant some flowers in your garden or in a window box. All right. So now... Remember we did have essential oils over here. Somebody had mentioned lavender earlier. And lavender is certainly good for the throat chakra. It's very soothing. Um, the peppermint, the eucalyptus and the sage may be good for opening it. Okay, if there's like a lot of stagnation there. Okay, frankincense. So look, I actually do have some essential oils over here. 
So I am going to put a little bit uh, on my hands and breathing in as well as put a little bit on my throat here. All right. The theme of the reading was Be Unfuckwittable. The mudra that came out was empowerment, the Fahadra mudra. The throat chakra card came out, essential oils, okay? So this is about the sea of your manifestations, your beliefs, your voice, your truth, your communications. Hope y'all got your tablets, your paper, and your pen. Hope you have it numbered to 55. And so what I'm gonna utilize is, and you can take up this one if you're feeling guided. Why, how am I, wait, why, <laughs> why, how, wait, what was it? How do I feel, there it goes, why, how am I in the in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Since empowerment did come out and we're talking about being unfuckwittable, okay? <laughs> Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. You don't have to be neat. This, this ain't gonna get graded. Why, <laughs> how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, you can abbreviate if you feel guided, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Man, I wish it was shorter now. Why, <laughs> how am I in the feeling? When I get to 10, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna bang on my thing, and then I'm gonna start it back. Of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of 
empowerment, and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? <laughs> I wish I would have done a shorter one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Again, abbreviated, you feel guided. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? <laughs> Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. We're gonna pause again, and then we're gonna do the mudra. And then we're gonna pick it back up. It's called Lofty Questions to the Universe and it will be reflected back to us. That's the point of it. This Tibetan singing bowl is uh, resonating with the solar plex, so this is perfect and fitting for empowerment. You guys know how we hear statements, or we ourselves have made statements where we'll say something like, I, I don't feel strong, or I, I don't feel like I can do it, or I don't. You'll hear, we hear ourselves and other people make statements like that. And that's basically saying there's an energy, there's a feeling, there's an emotion, there's something so when we're writing or making lofty statements to the universe, that's what we're referencing. Feeling, emotion. When we do feel strong in something, there's a different energy, there's a different feeling, right? You feel a certain way. Associated with that, right? Lofty question, because we're putting it out there. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Because see, toxic types love to attack this about you. They don't want you to feel empowered. They don't want you to feel confidence in how do they do it. They make digs at you. How do they do it? They look for ways to poke holes in you. What do they do? They try to highlight 
certain aspects of you, right? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling, or you can say emotion, of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Man, I gotta squeeze it in here. Why, how, am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? How are you guys doing there? Hope y'all hanging in there. Why, <laughs> how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. We're at 30. the feeling of 
empowerment, and confidence. Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Hope y'all are hanging in there. Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? this up. 41. Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the energy, I'm sorry, the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling, energy the same thing, but anyway, of <laughs> empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the no, feeling of empowerment and confidence, man. Why, how 
am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Home stretch, y'all. Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why? How am I in the feeling of empowerment? and confidence. Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence? Why, how am I in the feeling of empowerment and confidence. <laughs> Why, how am I in the feeling, boom, bitch, here we go, uh, of empowerment <laughs> and confidence. Ah, 55 times. I invite you guys to look into why I selected that. Google that, writing something down 55 times. If you're not familiar with lofty questions to the universe, posing lofty questions, I invite you all to look into that so you can see more information about why we're choosing that as well. Okay, there you have it. Hmm. Be unfuckwittable.
sorry you guys this is not a card pull right now sorry but hopefully for those of you that find this useful writing down 55 times lofty questions to the universe okay throat chakra you can rephrase it and do something specifically as it pertains to your throat to speaking to your voice to communication okay if it's about your emotion whatever it is you can rephrase these accordingly okay and again i want to remind you those of you all who are into the mudras okay you might want to google that if you're unsure about it but it's called the vahara mudra v-a-j-r-a okay and just breathe through it you don't have to figure out nothing okay just set the intentions boom bitch oh shit this ain't just cool signs and shit right <laughs> this ain't just trying to be like uh, no these there's energetic um I don't know if you would call them sensors, bitch, whatever, bitch, okay? That's, at, and <laughs> that's in the fingers, okay? It shifts energy. It's a reason for it. It's not just because this looks cute, okay? Or it looks deep or interesting. No, this, this is why I'm trying to guide people. Okay, don't take my word. Look into it if you're feeling guided, okay? And why are we doing this? Because this is about empowering ourselves with life, okay? These readings we get, gauging energy, trying to learn lessons, dealing with the things in which we deal with. This is about bringing it back because at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep saying it's like a broken record. The crazies are gonna be the crazies and when they die, there's gonna be another batch. Okay, your haters, they're gonna be the haters. When they die, it's gonna be another batch. Okay. We're not getting away from this. Okay, people who wanna kill you, they're gonna be, they wanna kill you, okay? <laughs> and when they die, it's gonna be another group. People wishing ill on you, when they die, there's going to be another group. I'm saying this for a reason. Lovers, you know, the affairs of the heart. There's going to always be people of your past that just don't appreciate the fact that you have life outside of them. There's always going to be, this is the story of life as we know it on earth, okay? There's always going to be somebody's crazy ex. That's never going to change, okay? Somebody going to always have a lunatic. Somebody somewhere in the mix, bitch. That's trying to hurt you, sabotage you, spread lies on you. That's never changing. If it ain't one of these, their ex, that ex is with the other ex. If it ain't an ex, it's the motherfucker they with now. If it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's going to always be somebody. Somebody you grew away from back in the day that you done long forgot about. That don't appreciate the fact, that, you know what I'm saying? That you're not destroyed. So that that goes with the narrative of the story they like to tell. That's not changing. It's going to always be somebody before you went through ascension that's got an opinion about you and your ascension because they chose not to and they don't agree with you. Why am I saying this? Because I feel like we lose sight of it, you know, as well-meaning and attending as we are, we do lose sight of that. 
We do need to know pertinent information. So I am not throwing shade on the role that tarot plays. I'm a reader. We need to know pertinent information. Information that's going to lead us to some type of actual guidance and shifting energy. We do need to know anything that's going to help us into safety when our lives are at, at risk. But it's no way to live constantly obsessed about who's trying to kill you today. Who's stalking you today? Who's lying on you today? Who's spreading rumors on you today? Who's doing a, a ritual on you today? Honey, this is going to happen until the end of this particular earth journey. Especially if you're on an ascension journey. And though I love, and I know these readings, listen, it serves, especially when you're feeling all some kind of way and you're trying to shoot your scratch in your head, bitch. But when we're ready, once we're ready, to realize that it's never been about trying to control the external or else you'll never have peace on earth if you're waiting to try to control what all these people choose to do and not do. You cannot appease a lunatic. I'm gonna drive that in like a broken record too. You cannot. Coming from somebody who spent a lot of, a large majority of her life trying to not make people feel uncomfortable and that never being enough. Them still not liking you. Them still trying to poke holes at you, still trying to come against you in some way. So you, you eventually get to a place to understand that, uh-uh. They're, they People choose to take on these antagonistic roles, whether they are kind of fully aware of it or not, where they have assigned themselves to be the antagonist in your life. Hurt people, hurt people, sick people, unwell people, sadists, these energies. That's not gonna change. Us looking for the reasons why is only going to cripple you because there is no logical reason to why. People with severe mental disorders or personality disorders, personality disorders, whether they're diagnosed or not, that enjoys watching people suffer or enjoys making things difficult, there's, there's never going to be no why, why. You're never going to get that answer. And it is a disservice to you to waste your life and time. This is what they wanted to begin with, to rob you. to rob you of a life you deserve to live, that you have a divine birthright to live. Especially people who wake up and realize that they've wasted their lives. And that they don't like the fruit of what their investments have been. At the same time, they didn't have the balls to do anything any different. 
and then they project that out onto you. Because maybe this is you. You empowered yourself. You became unfuckwittable and decided to be and do what you love. And some people were too afraid to do that. They're more scared and concerned about the external opi uh, opinions and views of those that are around them. And that's their choice too. But don't you allow that to rub off onto you because they don't want. Part of the robbery is keeping your mind focused on their toxicity to keep you energetically trapped there right along with them. So they want you obsessed about their spells, obsessed about who they're sending for you, obsessed about what they did, what they're doing. Every last one of these particular individuals, groups, folks are going to eat their own fruit of their conduct. That's really all you need to know. Especially if you stay in position and you do as you're being divinely guided to do in co-creation with your team. But you're also here to live and enjoy your life too. I have to be constantly reminded of that. As a warrior, <laughs> and one that has done this many lives, it ain't just about that. That's only a, a aspect of it. We're also here to enjoy the journey too. We have to find our balance, understanding that we are the captains if we want to be, that we can't take the reins. I even recommend, now this of course, if you're guided to do so, if not, then, it, then, then it's not for you. But I went through this where there was phases or stages or different seasons where I was guided to pull back from looking at too much tarot or just not even just tarot, just outside influences where I was guided to do more um, sounds, frequencies, nature, but not because all those voices, all these different people. I wasn't told that it was bad. I just had seasons where it was like, okay, you don't need to look at 12,000 readers. <laughs> it gets addicting, especially when you're in the land of in-between and you're in the land of not understanding or knowing what's going on. Everybody's energy is not pure. Everybody's readings and stories are not going to be resonating with you no matter how they sound, no matter how good of a reading it is. And it, keep, it keeps our energy focused this way. Them, 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 them. And when you're in a place where you're ready to come back to yourself and you're ready to reclaim your life, you're ready to take authority over your life experience. You get to a place where you're no longer as interested in what the lunatics are doing. Because you already intuitively know. Because you didn't start to train your intuition, bitch. <laughs> You already intuitively know the foolery that they're always up to. Get to a point where you no longer care. 
because you're here. We are here right now, right now. Now is the point of attraction. Here, 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 here. We're right here. We're not in 2020, we're not in 2021. Yeah, I know that's subjective because time is an illusion, but y'all know what I'm saying. We're not in 2025. We're right here. What are we creating right now? Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Is our peace and happiness and enjoyment contingent upon the lunatics outside of us? Is it contingent upon this ex, that ex, this low life, that low life, this person, that person? What is it? It is if you give it that power. How can you make the best of your now moment? With the moment that you're sitting in. Things that are within your own physical power as well. How can you make the best of that? That's not contingent on if somebody outside of you cooperates with you or not. If somebody loves you or not, if somebody chooses you or not, if somebody calls you or not, if somebody does the right thing or not, if somebody this or not, if somebody, how? Right now. And it starts with some of this stuff and these activities that we're doing. If our happiness and peace I'm telling y'all, I had to learn the hard way and long way like everybody else. If our happiness and peace is contingent upon if someone says sorry or if someone comes and tells you the truth, honey, lunatics ain't this and they tell you the truth. And the sooner we can accept that, we can move into a different energy. I'm trying to make it like down home and practical. Like dudes, um, psychotics, are, they don't have integrity. What are you waiting for? Criminally insane individuals, they don't have conscious. You're waiting for them to have a conscious. Is that what you're waiting for? They don't. I used to make this statement, it's like expecting, if you went to an insane asylum or something, it's like expecting them to straighten up and fly right. You can expect it, but you're really fooling yourself. It's like expecting your five-year-old to know how to properly drive a Ferrari because you gave them the key and you give them the instructions on how it's to be done and you expect them to get in there and properly drive it safely and perfectly. It's ludicrous. The thought of that even sounds ludicrous. People who do participate in the toxic things in which most of us go to readings to get the 411 on, they don't change. They're called a dark witch for a reason. It's called a toxic, secret, weird nigga bitch group for a reason, okay? 
It's what they do. That's their mission statement, bitch. Okay? <laughs> it's what they do. So you think that they're going to wake up one day and have a conscience because you sent them love and light? You know how many people have been sending these types of individuals love and light long before we were? This is not changing. It's like asking those who do not have a conscience, criminally insane people, to be humane. That's what you're waiting for. We can go from reading to reading and it's gonna always be the same pertaining to these people. So in this now moment, how can you empower yourself to integrate whatever that stuff was all about to begin with and create a better reality? Ask yourself the question, is it robbery to have you hiding out? And again, please use wisdom. Please get in a safe space. I always add balance because if you're with criminally insane people or if you know, killers, bitch, you want to, you know what I'm saying, move yourself into a proper location, do what you have to do. But what I'm trying to say is, is it living if you spend your days closed off? Sorry. Is it living? Because the, they're killers. They're trying to kill you. Yes, be safe. Yes, take legal precautions. All those things. Take a self-defense class, bitch. You know, look at the laws of the land of where you at and, and handle it accordingly, bitch. So if they run up, boom, bitch. They kind of boom, bitch. Y'all wish they didn't do that. Huh? But outside of that, is it living for you to just be sitting up somewhere afraid to go outside? Is that the life that you want to spend for the rest of whatever time you got left on earth? Or, you know, just kind of not doing the things that you do love, whatever that is for you, because of that? Is that, is that a vibrant life? Now, like I said, take care of yourself. And if you're healing and recovering from something, then you certainly need to be isolated and, and staying in and doing the things that you need to do to recover and rebuild yourself. But don't be robbed any further than you've already been robbed. And that is your vengeance. That is vengeance. That's your justice too. If they cannot dictate your life, you do. They can't stop you from living. They can't stop you from having a good life and enjoying your life. They can threaten you. They can bully you. They can stalk you. They can do their weird nigga bitch shit. They'll pay for it. But they can do it. Be unforgettable, y'all. And where is the challenge? Figure out some unique ways to get yourself in the frequency of being. 
of being unfuckwittable. I love my high vibe drivers. Thank y'all, those of you all who came in here with love and light and high vibes and positivity. Thank y'all, those of you all who came in and liked it and shared it and gave flowers and heart thingies and poppy thingies, okay? <laughs> it was very cute, very pretty, and very appreciated, okay? Let's exude more of that, okay? Not a problem, my pleasure. Especially to those that are like-minded and on this kind of journey, let's do more of that because the lunatics aren't going anywhere. I always make this joke, if you build it, they will come, right? So that's just the, <laughs> that's just the name of the game. That's not going to change. So let's overpower that just by elevating our high frequencies, positive vibes, and pushing that towards one another and what we do, okay? That's a part of our vengeance. 